the epoch um, you know the week that led up you know the week prior to him you know returning to Allah Park was um he was doing a list. he was like look we don't got enough pictures together me talking about him and, you know the outlaws so we started just taking pictures around his house random pictures and then when he went to New York you know he called me to his room and um that car it was a taxi park I said I'm watching everybody that walk in this hotel and his shop pop that he seen me like a young dude but I'm still paying attention who coming in that hotel because we don't trust nobody. So if anybody look like a street dude, I'm because we in Manhattan in a nice neighborhood. If you like a street dude and you walking in that hotel, that's a red flag for us. We're going to hit the lobby and we're going to check you out. So when I did that, I think Pac was like, you know, it affected him in a good way, you know. So the day after that, he called me to his room and he had all his jewelry laid out. And I was like, Pac, what's up? You told me to come to your room and he was like, um, grab something i'm like grab what because <laughs> i don't you know this is the first time he act like this he's like grab something the jewelry whatever you want take is yours so i grabbed the ring because i didn't want to go for the big stuff he had rolexes i'm talking about diamond rolexes watches bracelets everything so i grabbed the ring the little thing he's like man grab something else i grabbed the rolex it's a rolex bracelet that he had on all eyes on me i later on gifted it to mike epps um, I grabbed that. He's like, man, take more. So I grabbed a chain and then I grabbed a ring and then I was I left. And I went in the hotel. I mean, I went into the hotel lobby. Gaddafi and Edie was out there. He was like, what Pac wanted? Why he call you to the room? I was like, man, Pac acting weird, bro. He just, <laughs> he just put all his jewelry down and told me to take his jewelry. And I was like, look. And I don't know if it was Edie or Gaddafi. I gave one of them the chain and one of them the ring and I just kept the Rolex. That later on I gifted to Mike, you know, for you know doing some good thing. He did something for me, and I, I wanted to thank him. And you know, he got the Rolex watch. It's the Rolex that the the bracelet, the bracelet that I'm in, the one that Pac had on the All Eyes on Me um, album cover. You know, and that was days before the Vegas incident, right? Yeah, it was days before the Vegas incident. That's why it was strange because before the New York, before the jewelry incident. You know, he was he he made us walk around, take pictures. He's like, we just don't have enough. We need pictures for memories. We don't have enough, a lot enough pictures with each other. And then he gave away jewelry. A couple days later, he passed away. A couple days later was the Vegas incident. Do you think Tupac knew something was going to happen to him? You know, you all you hear people sometimes they say these things about you know this person seemed like he knew he was going to die. You know, um, I, I really can't touch upon if these things can be actually, you know, facts. But he definitely was acting as if he was going to depart. He was acting, he was just, he wasn't acting the normal Pac. You know, from the simple, even from the point where he was like, he just woke up one day was like, you know, we don't have enough pictures with, that, with each other. Sent somebody to the grocery store. That's when you can get them portable cameras from the grocery store, Ralph's. You know, in L.A. And he was like, let's just take pictures with each other so that we can have, have them for memories. Then gave me away his jewelry. So, you know, he that, it was it was strange. Yeah, one of the famous pictures that we took, you know, I have a yellow shirt on. And I'm standing next to Pop. We both throwing up West Side, right in his living room. That was one of the pictures. I don't know if there's any other pictures from that week on the Internet, but that's one of them. I stood up. That's the first thing you've heard him say in like two weeks of court. You know, Your Honor? And throughout this entire court case, you haven't looked me or my attorney in the eye once. It's obvious that you're not here in search of justice. So therefore, there's no point in me asking for a lighter sentence. I don't care what you do because you're not respecting us. This is not a court of law as far as I'm concerned. No justice is being served here. And you still can't look me in the eye. And so I say, do what you want to do. Give me whatever time you want because I'm not in your hands. I'm in God's hands. You can cut the tension in the courtroom with a knife. It moved the whole side of the prosecution. I didn't say it like Pac said it. The way Pac said it, everybody's eyes in the courtroom watered up. Nobody could speak for a minute. <sighs> Brave motherfucker, yo.